Good morning, ninth class. Today, let us start with our poem, "The Road Not Taken." In the previous class, I explained you poem simultaneously. I'll make you write the poetic devices. Write the poetic devices on the left-hand side of the poem. Okay, in the textbook, all the poetic devices to be written on the left-hand side, and the meanings. that you would write on the right hand side in your textbook other explanation summary question and answers we shall do it tomorrow right now i'm beginning with the explanation of the poem the road not taken by robert frost okay have a look at the introduction given before we begin with the poem this well known poem is about making choices and the choices that shape us many times in our life we encounter certain things or certain decisions have to be taken wherein we need to make a choice we have options in front of us and we need to choose any one of it so robert frost here discusses our choice our correct choice and how those choices help us in making our life and take the decision of our life okay let us begin with the poem two roads diverged in a yellow wood two roads when he says two roads he is talking about the bifurcation okay the road which divided into two so he says two roads diverged diverged means separated bifurcated in a yellow wood okay when he says yellow wood here <clears throat> it has imagery visual imagery along with that it also has symbolism because yellow wood refers to forest in the autumn season okay forest in the autumn season and when he says two roads this is again symbolism because that refers to choices in our life okay so two roads diverged in yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both he is talking about himself that being one single person it's not possible that he would walk over both the roads okay he has to make a choice when we have option we have to take a decision decision of choosing any one thing so he says two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both i could not walk upon both the roads together and be one traveler one single human being can choose one single track at a time long i stood when he says long i stood he is talking about the decision which he took after a lot of scrutiny means he thought and thought and thought that which would be the right option for him and which would be the right choice means he took a long time in taking a decision long i stood i waited and looked down one as far as i could looked down one as far as i could mean before taking a decision many times we try to be far sighted far sighted means we think whether this decision of mine would be correct or not whether i should take this one or that one so some thinkings are there in our mind so we try to be far sighted whether the decision which i am taking would be appropriate one or not for me to where it bent in the undergrowth undergrowth here refers to the bushes in the forest okay and symbolically it refers to the unknown world okay when you try to look far off there is a limit of your being far sighted because beyond that it is an unknown world future is also unknown you can make certain plans but you never know what happens the next moment okay we are not gods we can be far sighted but we cannot look future what future holds god only knows about it so he says 
I tried to be farsighted. I tried to look as far as I could, but then beyond that, I couldn't see what future holds in its bag. Okay, because after that is the unknown world wherein we don't know what happens the next. Then took the other. He says, I chose the second track. I chose the other road. I didn't choose the first one. I chose the other road. Just as fair. See, initially, before taking a decision, when we try to look at the pros and cons of a thing, both the things look same to us. Okay, we cannot differentiate. He says both look the same. Okay, just as fair. So in an initial term, both the roads look the same. And having perhaps the better claim, the second road offered him more bright future. When he says a better claim, more means it will look more appealing, more attractive. So he felt for a second that he should go for the second road and the first one he'll take some other day. What does he further say? Because the second road was grassy and wanted veer. Okay, now here what does he say? The second road looked grassy and wanted veer. Wanted veer means it was a less traveled road. Very few people had walked over it. Okay, wanted veer means it wanted someone to come and walk over it and explore it. Okay. Now, before I explain this, through this small explanation, I'm trying to give you an idea of what roads does he talk about. The first road, the second road. First road was a non-grassy road. Why it was a non-grassy road? Because many people had walked over it. Okay, there are some professions in life profession of being an engineer, profession of being a doctor or doing an office job. Okay, these we call it as the safe tracks which ensure success. You do this, you do this, you do this and you will be having a nice package, a nice job. Okay, we consider them as the safe tracks because many people have walked over it. Okay, whereas the second road looks grassy. Grassy because very less people have traveled onto that road. Many people have not taken the decision of walking onto the second road. Okay, and it is considered to be a risky track. So, poet here is talking about his choice of choosing to be a poet. So, when he says, No, I chose the second one, I took the other one. So, he's talking about his decision or his choice of becoming a poet in his life. Okay. So what does he say? Because it was grassy and wanted way, because it was grassy and it wanted some people to come and walk over it, to come and explore it. There are some professions in life, profession of being a, a dancer or a singer or a musician. These are considered to be the risky tracks. Okay, means you have to follow your, uh, uh, means passion, your talent. Because they are not considered to be the safer tracks in life which would ensure you success. So here again he is talking about his choice of being a poet. Though as for that the passing there, passing there refers to the passers by, the ones who were walking by that road, had warned them really about the same. So means initially if you look both the decisions, both the roads look the same. And when you ask any of the passerby, according to them, choose anything. It is your choice. Because once you make the choice, you have to live the difference. The other one has just guided you. So the passersby would say, both are saying, you, it's your choice. Now finally, you have to decide that which road you have to walk over. And both that morning equally lay. Both that morning equally late, early morning time, time full of opportunities, a time when the day left all the options in front of him. 
he has to make a choice so he says it was early morning time and when i saw both the roads look the same to me okay because when he says no uh, both morning equally le means uh, in it is imagery a uh, visual imagery once again okay both that morning equally le because when he saw both the roads initially early morning time looked the same to him in leaves no step had trodden black trodden means walk over trampled or crushed under the feet no step had trodden black means no leaves had been pressed because of the walking okay if it is evening time evening time you can make out okay many people walk through this road whereas this one nobody has walked over but early morning time when he looked both roads looked the same because he couldn't make out whether anyone had walked over that road okay early morning time so no leaves had trodden black means uh, very few people had stepped on them so he couldn't make out whether which one is the grassy or the non grassy so both the roads that morning time looked the same to him oh i kept the first for another day so he decided that he would go on to the second road and he left the first road to be explored some other day yet knowing how way leads on to way although he knew very well that in life a decision once taken cannot be undone okay like in our system computer we have an undo button we can erase a thing we can correct a mistake but in our life once we choose a road we walk on to that road and one way leads to the other way we cannot go back once again time cannot be rewinded okay actions once done cannot be undone so that's what he says yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back once we start moving once in class 11th you take science maths okay 12th science maths then finally when it is college time you would try to take one such stream wherein which is related to that particular field only okay you wouldn't think of that i'll do 11th once again with the commerce background certain decisions when once taken they are taken and then it is one way after the other which we keep on moving because time cannot be reversed i doubted if i should ever come back he knew very well that it wouldn't be possible for him that once he starts walking on to the second road he would come back and choose the first one again i shall be telling this with a sigh okay so now kindly note that here the word sigh s i g h has two meaning okay one is a sigh of pain sigh of pain because probably in future he may be regretting for the wrong decision taken okay second would be a sigh of relief relief that he is satisfied that the decision which he took was a right one okay so you may write down in your book sigh first relief in the bracket right made a right choice then second point sigh of regret now in the bracket right making a wrong choice okay whatever we decide in present we never know that what would be the far reaching consequence of that decision of ours either we would be happy about taking that decision or perhaps we may be regretting or repenting for making a wrong choice so he says i shall be telling this with a sigh means few years later few years from now i shall be telling this to everyone with a sigh it could be a sigh of relief it could be a sigh of regret somewhere ages and ages ends ages and ages repetition over here 
so ages and ages and means years and years later either i may be regretting or i may be happy what about the two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by okay so he says two roads were there in front of me god offered me a choice i was the one to decide that i chose the less traveled road i took the one which was less traveled by and this choice has made all the difference here when he says made all the difference he is talking about a significant impact on his life his choice of choosing to be a poet his choice of denying all the safe professions in his life okay so here we get to know that whatever he is today is because of his choice of choosing the less traveled road or the risky road okay so this is we complete with the poem the poetic devices shall be discussed tomorrow along with that we'll also do the quest answers okay children kindly read the poem nicely all the doubts which ever you have we shall clarify them in our doubt class okay children goodbye take care